If you've used shaded relief in QGIS, it probably looked something like this. For most maps, this can be greatly improved by a few QGIS adjustments. That's a lot better, but what if you could get this instead? Here's a close-up look. First, the conventional relief. And now the Swiss style. Swiss style relief was invented by Fridolin Becker, a Swiss cartographer. Another Swiss guy, Edward Imhoff, popularized the technique. Here are some examples. Swiss style relief has a really attractive, hand drawn quality. Until now, that's how it was produced. A new program called Edward makes creating this type of relief simple. In this video, I'll go over the features and how it works. Before we begin, I need to mention two caveats about this software. It's not free. The cost is $99, which is a steal considering what it can do. It only works on Macs, and there is apparently no plan to make a Windows version. If you have a Mac, or know someone who does, Edward is definitely worth checking out. When you start up Edward, you'll see this. Edward can accept DM files, and also has a built-in map-based downloader. I'll show the downloader first. Clicking on Download brings up this map. You can move around this map using the mouse button and scroll wheel. You can also grab the control points on the selection box to adjust them. They show the current coordinates. You can enter exact coordinates if you prefer. Once the area is selected, Edward gives you a list of data sources to choose from. You'll need to enter API keys from Open Topography and Maps in, but both are free. You can also choose from Mercator or Geographic Projection. Clicking Download begins the process. When it's done, you can save the file. It will open in Edward. And right there is some pretty good Swiss style relief. Edward has several controls to tweak the appearance. These three presets are for different map scales, large, medium, and small. These are a quick way to style your relief. The other controls let you tweak different parameters. Generalization is separated into macro and micro for large and small features. Here's what the macro slider does. And here's what the micro slider does. I'll zoom in for a better look. The terrain type slider adjusts the effect for steepness of elevations. Here's how that works. Flat Area Details lets you enhance detail in flat areas. I'll zoom in again. Now let's take a look at the main menu. The File menu has the usual commands, plus Import and Export options. You can export the grid, the raw DEM, the shaded file as a georeference geotiff, the coordinate system, or the world file. The edit menu is pretty standard. The view menu has some useful things, including the ability to change the scale. The grid menu lets you crop or resample the data and limit elevation values. You can also view the map area in external maps, like this. Full CRS information is also available. The shading menu is really powerful. You can add layers to the file for different effects, such as texture shading. These effects can be tweaked, and you can control how they interact with other layers.
Edward produces such superior shaded relief and does it so quickly and easily that I'll be using it for all my relief from now on. Here's an example in QGIS. Here's a map with conventional shaded relief. I've run the hillshade process with a Z factor of 0 0.00005 and lightened the image using my usual settings. I also applied a slight brown tint. Here's the Edward relief. I'll zoom in for a closer look. And there you have it. Check out my designer's guide to creating great maps at themapguide.net slash guide and download two free chapters. That's all for now. See you next time.